inside line on the restart. This is going to be down to the wire. Oh. Oh, touch. He spun out. Carl gets into Keselowski. Oh, Carl my Edwards gosh. will win. Oh, oh, you are the man. He deserves a good job. Oh. Oh, that my is God, okay. Is okay. Keselowski's okay here. That was a hard right? hit, guys. That was ugly. Direct behind you. Just that slow it down. Ugly. Slow it down. There's a big wreck here. It looks to me as though Carl thought that he was cleared and he was going to do a crossover and maybe misjudged that. Boom, right there. Is that, is that Bliss or Howard? It's Colin Brown gets hit also. And... Well, trying to reel in Edwards. Whoa. Off the wall, the two-car burst. Bush, and his teammate comes across. Oh, man, that was two for one. Both Penske cars taken out in that one. A Jimmy, melee. Jimmy Johnson also gets tagged, the reigning series champion. Jeff Green, the 66 cars in it. J.J. Yaley. Well, it broke on the car, man. It shot straight into the fence. That's Dover's version of the big one right there. Oh, look at Martin Truex. He had a great shot to have a good top five today. What happened here a moment ago? Now, watch the two car left side of his screen up off the wall. He Looks like he. Yeah, he had a flat tire or something. He had something broke or a flat tire. Yeah, I couldn't tell if the tire was flat in here or if he just got up so high out of the groove and the car wouldn't turn. He got up in it again. I mean, only Kurt would know. But. Uh, Boy, when he hit that wall, bounced across, it just really took out everybody. 66, Jeff Green, Casey Kane. There's the 18 car again uh, from high above. Watch the contact there. Newman goes up down and gets the inside wall. Kane has nowhere to go. Right in front of him is the two car. The five car, Kyle Busch bouncing off a couple. Looks like Tony Stewart just avoids these guys. I think he got a little bit of contact, maybe some damage. He's battling to try to stay in that position so he can get the next Aaron's Lucky Dog if we have one oh, trouble. And here comes an Aaron's Lucky Dog right now. Problems there, it looks as though three different trucks involved and more starting to pile up behind them. Completely blocked the racetrack. You see all these guys stopping. You see Colin Brown had a top 10 run going. There's Terry Cook, he's involved. You see a left front tire cut down on his Wilder.com Toyota. There's Jason White. There's it didn't look like Terry Cook had anywhere to go as, as as the 08 went up the track, Terry looked like he started to go to the outside, and that's where he just collected him there. Looks like the 16 of Brian Scott ran into the back of the 6 of Colin Brown. Oh, we got contact back in the field, going into turn number one. A pile up as they get into one. The track completely blocked. A number of cars involved in this, a number of top running top 10 cars. Kenzie Rustin was running in the 6th spot. She was involved, Corey LaJoy's involved, Dylan Kwasneski, Cameron Haley, there's Jesse Little, the 90. Instead of being on the brakes, they're trying to accelerate, and this big wreck happens. See, there's a view right there. Jesse Little got in the back of Kenzie Rustin. That turned her in to Jimmy Weller. He makes hard contact with the outside wall. Watch Michael McGuire, the 7, get by there. McGuire. McKenna Bell does a nice job just narrowly avoiding Cameron Haley. Take a look at this real time. Yeah, the double zero slows way down, missing the shift. Yep. It's always the guy right behind who has just a little bit of time. That was Brandon Godova. This wasn't quite clear. Hard hit to the inside again, comes back up onto the track. See Sam Horn is doing a good job of getting by. Austin Dillon. You see Dillon duck got against the wall and got some front end damage out of that. That 70 of Brad Teague was the car that the 44 went across the nose of, exiting turn four, and then this. Three of four. four. Couple cars collected, including the 78. That's BJ. M Nowhere for BJ McLeod to go. He gets into the oh, left the front. 77 collects. Yeah, huge contact. As well, 77. Yes, you can see Anthony. A little bit of contact there. Was that? He got a little help from the seven, I yeah. believe, of Corey LaJoy. Yeah, it looks to me like the seven just sent now. Oh, three wide. Make a move around. Oh, three oh, wide. Oh, look out! Work. This is bad news. Oh man, up onto the wall. Casey Kane now comes back down on all four. Caution is out. Oh, you can see that. Coming at you, buddy. Just hold on here. That is a tough break because that car, as you mentioned, was good tonight. Man. So there's right here. Justin Allgaier is really struggling. Trevor Bain got to the inside of him, forced him to the right side a little bit. And Casey Kane was already there. Damage also to the right side of the 12 there, as you can see. Don't know how severe that is right now, but. Casey's night is done. That's good to see he's okay. Justin Allgaier, whenever Trevor Bain got to the inside of him, not sure that he ever had any idea that Casey Kane was out there. 
As things happening so fast, you might have a spot or hollering in your ear here, but it's happening so quickly, folks. A chain reaction accident down the back straightaway into turn number three. Eric Almarola, Kyle Busch, Clint Boyer, Brian Vickers, the drivers involved. Almarola clearly getting the worst of the damage. Right here behind Michael Lynette. Looks like Vickers just cut Larson off a little bit, and that just started the whole thing. So two separate incidents that combine. 55-43 have contact in the jam up. Clint Boyer hits Kyle Busch, and then they all come together. When you're that far back, like Boyer is there, you don't see everything that's happening there. All of a sudden, it's right in front of you. Brakes don't do much good at that point in time. Going to stay on the lead lap. That could be a tall order. Oh, oh no. Heavy, oh, heavy damage. And he gets hit hard. Right in front of your leader, Martin Strex Jr. Barely got through that. Barely got through there, but and he was able to stay in the lead also, I believe. Watch the 19. That's your leader, Martin Truex. Wow. Man. Yikes. Holy crap, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what Get I the said, words Martin. Right out of our mouth. <laughs> In the wall, hard goes Casey Kane and Martin Truex. Wow, that was huge. Look at that. Here, I get a feeling something happened to Martin Truex Jr. in that 56 as hard as he was driving it off in that corner. Sure does. I yeah, mean, I mean, he wasn't even able to slow it down, it didn't look like. I bet the, well, it's hard to say about brakes, but that looks like a car that lost its brakes. And Kenson cleared by Logano. Maybe no. Kenson takes him out. Logano into the wall. Caution comes out and the crowd roars. Helmets coming off. Matt Kenseth already not having the day that he wanted to have. As he comes out of four, it's a drag race. They wreck behind him. Kyle Busch will win. Yes, sir. Check it. Big roof Wrecking on the front you. stretch. behind him the 93 Maya Snyder and a huge break for the cars that didn't pit so Rick we need to yeah. talk about this Woo. they know yes. that new tires are going by him this is not about track position here there whoo everybody business is picking up all right this is on board with the 10 he gets to the outside of the 11 of Haley the remember the 10 is brand new tires it's going to show how much grip he has the through three. the corner rolls the outside three. of the nine Top of four. Nowhere to go. Top of four. Oh. Top of four. <laughs> Top of four. Top of three. <laughs> That's not what you want to hear. <laughs> Top of four. When the spotter tells you that, you know you're in trouble. Yeah. So when you're a crew chief and you're a top of oh. four, you just put your head down and you hope that you the, the spotter keeps.